well, I just, I was curious about uh, basically the journey. You know, you and I have talked several times, many times before, uh, since I can only imagine. Um, I think the last time I was with you, besides the Jesus Music red carpet a few weeks ago, uh, yeah. we were at Museum of the Bible uh, last summer, uh, or maybe two summers ago. I can't even remember. The pandemic uh, yeah, makes, knows. you know, it's, it's hard, like we've it's lost hard to keep track of time. There. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, but we were. I, I am curious about how uh, you came up, how you chose this for your next project. And it looks like it's going to become a, a really big release. I love the Christmas Day, uh, you know, release and all that. That's, that's just such a blessing. So you want to talk about, you know, who presented that story to you? Did somebody approach you? Did you read about it? Yeah, well, what, what we do is we make, movies and you know eventually tv series and things like that but why we do what we do is to really get um christianity back into the entertainment industry and to infuse the entertainment industry with hope you know and with optimism and with aspirational uh content and i just think that you know that the world needs um uh the world i mean frankly the world needs christ now more than ever and uh, I think stories are the best way to get it to people. And uh, we want to just see, uh, you know, we want to we want to seize this sort of medium of communication and infuse it with stories that that can draw people to what's true and to things that uplift and inspire. And you know that th that can be done in a variety of ways. Um, we've really fallen in love with true stories. Um, but I do think that God's on the move in Hollywood. God's at work in Hollywood. There's doors that are flying open. Uh, that have that have never been opened before and it's just because the audience clearly speaks and people realize just how large the heartland is you know and how underserved it is and so each story is different uh and a, a film like i can only imagine is different or the next film i'm going to jesus revolution which tells the story of the revival in the 1970s um which i love and then but but then there's this Kurt Warner movie and very much like a mainstream blindside type movie right. that uh, of this of this Christian and it's unbelievable. I've always dreamed of the biggest possible stage, you know, for for our worldview and our and and our and and the themes that we care so deeply about, which are universally appealing. And uh, so to have a Christmas Day wide release is such an amazing statement of legitimacy, and to have a a hero. <laughs> In cinemas, you know, there, there are heroes typically at Christmas, but they're typically like, you know, uh, you know, superheroes or, or, or Star Wars or whatever. So to have a Christian hero in cinemas uh, all over America living out his faith uh, on a football field, that's a, that's a pretty cool thing. I'm just so honored that Lionsgate, Lionsgate would give us that kind of a platform for this story. And it's a, uh, you know, Kurt and Brenda are just wonderful people. It was great to meet them. And we all had a common vision for the film. And it's just an inspirational love story. You know, it's, uh, it's, I think we all remember him thanking his Lord and Savior at the end of the Super Bowl. And I think we all remember him running that football to Brenda Warner in the stands. And like, you could just tell that there was something magical and special about their relationship. And, uh, and, and so it was, it was so cool to, explore that in a movie i think a lot of people know that he worked at a you know supermarket was bagging groceries and then was the mvp of the super bowl a lot of people know he ran the football to brenda in the stands but they, they don't know anything else and so to really go into that story and just how unbelievable their relationship was and their love story and uh and how much inspiration he found in her disabled son to this day he really found the heart of a champion and he found his faith in his relationship with brenda and and in becoming a father uh, to those kids and the character that he discovered off the field allowed him a champion on the field, you know, and, uh, and we just fell off with that story. And so we don't really overthink it. It's just, if it inspires us and it motivates us and, uh, then we just have to trust that it's going to inspire and motivate the audience as well. And I know when I first experienced the story and sat down and interviewed them, you know, I, I, not, I believed in my own dreams again, you know, I, I I believed right. in in my own calling and destiny and purpose and and I think we've just all had such a difficult year that we need that you know we need that that sense of of purpose and belief um, uh, again and uh, that that God can call us to do incredible things that other people would say are totally impossible and 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 we can those things can be achieved and uh, and so it's a movie about reinvigorating and rekindling the dreams of the audience 
And it's just a really, really inspirational movie. Whether you're a football fan or a fan of the story or not, it's a, it's just an incredibly inspirational love story. And, uh, and I can't wait for people to, to see it everywhere Christmas day. And the idea of a PG movie that the whole family can see together, you know, so much entertainment separates us as family right. members, you know, and pulls us apart. We want to create experiences that bring the family together. And so to have a, a holiday, you know, a Christmas movie, you know, a movie released over Christmas that the family can enjoy and watch together um, is, is really exciting to me. So um, we wanted to make the film accessible for the entire family. Uh, because it, it, he seems to really shine in the film and uh, is a good marquee name for a, a release like that. Well, you know what, Brenda, what um, Anna Paquin, Academy Award winner, says in the trailer, you know, is you were born for this. And I, I believe that applies to Zach Levi. I just think he was born to play this role. That was one of the greatest questions we had of who can play Kurt Warner, who can have the charisma and the athletic ability and the charm and the star power. And, you know, you can't, on, on, on one hand, name the actors that can do that. And uh, Zach is at the top of that list, you know. Um, uh, he's, you know, when you can anchor a franchise like Shazam and also be, you know, Flynn Rider and Tangled as well as the lead of a TV series, it's like, it's an incredible wow. amount of talent. And, uh, and he just completely bought in. Uh, uh, he, he uh, uh, you know, he, he loved the movie, he loved the script and he's born to play this role. And he's fantastic in the movie and it's a different side of zach it's a grounded uh uh side of him and he really crushes it and then to add academy award winner anna paquin i remember the first call we had with her i was like i feel like i just spent 30 minutes on the phone with brenda warner like they just they're the same spirit like they just they're they're just passionate and like you know uh authentic and um uh, and it was unbelievable. And then to have Dennis Quaid back was a treat. I mean, it, you know, of course we had such success with him with, I can only imagine. Um, but also Mark Shardy, one of our producers, his first film and his breakout was the film, the rookie that Quaid was also in. So it was sort of a, a homecoming on all fronts. And, uh, and I, I just can't wait for the audience to see it. I'm so proud of the cast of the movie and, you know, the football is cinematic and expansive and immersive and, 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 and 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 visceral and fun and, and and meant to be seen on the big screen but my favorite part of the movie is just the love story and the those relationships and those moments and those scenes um and the family story is just uh it's a movie that'll make you laugh and cry and cheer uh multiple times and uh i can't wait for the audience to finally see it we've been working on this thing for so long it's been our sort of project over the whole pandemic you know so i can't wait for for people to see it I appreciate everything you guys do. I told you that on the red carpet a couple of weeks ago. I mean, uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. I was blown away. I can only imagine was the first Irwin Brothers movie I really watched and uh, just blown away by the quality and always look forward to everything you guys put out. Well, thank you. Well, we wouldn't be here without you. You know, uh, you make it an event. And so we appreciate you being with us from the beginning. And uh, I think God's God has used, you know, there's many people, that are being used right now, but I think God is really working in Hollywood and I think we're all just getting started. And, right, uh, yeah. and I think people need hope now more than ever. And, uh, yeah. we have it, we have it to give them, you know? So, so I think we should be bold about that. And when we unify our voice, there is nothing powerful as powerful as, as the faith right. audience unifying their voice together. And, uh, Absolutely. and, uh, and I appreciate you being a part of that, man. So cool. onward. Well, hopefully I'll talk to you for Jesus revolution next. Yeah, that's I can't wait for that. I've been working on that one for five years. And it's like, uh, um, we need another Jesus movement. And I can't believe Lionsgate's funding a movie with Jesus in the title. It's unbelievable. So yeah. uh, that's next. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mike.